All right, guys, we just got done making one of our coolest projects to date. What we've done is an army themed, uh, basically, board for Veterans Day with a gold ghosted flag. You got to see this thing. Look how awesome this is. We're going to show you step by step how you can get this same look, different colors. You can choose your own camo. We did this for Veterans Day. We just wanted to say thank you to all you vets for serving. Uh, we don't take it lightly, the sacrifice. We recognize it, and we did this for you. We know some of you are Navy and Air Force and all that. I know this is an Army theme, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Maybe you can make a Navy one, an Army themed one. We're gonna donate this to a local uh, veterans place here in our community. But guys, uh, post some videos or post some pics on what you create. Let's see what you can create. This is on a door, a standard inside inside door, so you could actually mount it just like this. Again, coolest project in the world. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video.
All right, guys, so this is the next stage. The camo is coming out. It came out absolutely awesome. Now we want to ghost on a gold flag is kind of our idea. We don't know exactly what it's going to turn out like, but as of now, I don't think you could really screw it up. So obviously the flag has 13 lines. Um, you just do a simple division, take the width of your board or whatever the size of your flag is, divide it by 13 to get your, your 13 lines. Then you want to tape off every other one. And then you want to figure out the, the, the area that you want your stars. And you want your stars, if you look at a flag, what happens is, is your stars actually go like this. You have five stars, and then it, it goes to four stars, and then back to five and four, five, four, five, four, all the way until you get to 50 stars. So we'll have to do this math and figure out how far apart we want our stars in a minute. But the first thing we wanna do is do our ghosting on the lines right now. So I'm just gonna tape off the whole star section, and we're just gonna ghost over the rest of it with some gold spray paint. And so that's essentially what I'm doing. I know that I want my, if you see we cut the tape. I just ran the tape all the way across the board to get my lines. And then once I had the lines perfect, we figured out where we wanted the star section and then we just cut this in a perfect line. Now what I'm doing is I'm just re-taping it because actually we, we don't wanna spray paint the whole background of the star area. We want to leave it clean. So what I've done is I'm now taping it back off um, so that when we spray paint this, none of this will get messy. So yeah, hopefully this turns out pretty cool. We'll just keep working on it and showing you where we're at. All right, I got the, the star section taped off. Got our metallic, it's a real bright gold metallic spray paint. And again, we just want to ghost real even on these lines. Never done this before, so let's uh, let's do this. All right, guys, as you can see, we're just getting done with the very last row of four stars. And I wanna talk just for a minute on, on how I laid this out. Um, I may have made it look easy, but you just, gotta, you just gotta think about your measurements. What I found was the easiest thing to do was do your five stars first, your row of five. So there's a row of five here. Every other row is a row of five. So a row of five here, row of five here, 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 and here. So what you wanna do is you wanna do your outside rows of five first, and you wanna get them pretty even with the edge, and then you know it's simple math after that where all the rest of your stars will flow in between that. And I have tape on the edge where I actually put my measurements on where the rest of the rows needed to go. So if I was to have that on top, it would actually look like this. So I put a piece of tape on this edge, and I put a piece of tape on this edge. And then I simply lined them out according to these. And then I got stars, these cool stencils. I got these from Hobby Lobby. We love Hobby Lobby. And I found a size of a star that I would like to use on this size of a board. Cut that out and then we just put them together equal distance apart, taped in between them and we made our own giant stencil. So as you can see, we did our, our row of five stars, and then we cut one of the stars off, and then we, we just used four stars for the middle. And see my, my lines line up with the middle of the stars? So it was simple, we just taped it on there, 
put some put some cardboard on each side, weighed it down, spray painted it, and then we moved it over to the next row of four stars. Put cardboard down, weighted it down, and then spray painted it just a little bit because we wanted to kind of have that that ghost effect. Um, really fun, cool project. So now what we're gonna do um, is we're actually gonna seal all of this in with another clear coat of epoxy, and, and hopefully it looks just absolutely stunning. One thing I'll mention is in the US flag, typically you see this clear row right here. Usually this row goes all the way across and your stars actually start right here. Because we screwed up and we, we, we reversed the lines, um, this should have been a gold row is my point. And so when you do your flag, we think it would look best instead of doing your outside rows with whatever color you use, do your colors starting with the second line in. So don't do it on the outside, so do color here, 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 and here. What that will do is your color will be going across the bottom of your stars, and so you'll actually have a proper box height to work with. My point is, is the way the flag is right now, it is not considered a proper G-spec or government-spec flag, but it still looks pretty cool. So now we're gonna put the clear coat on and uh, go deliver it to some veterans. All right guys, we just got done putting the clear coat on this flag, looks absolutely amazing. And if, if you do end up getting done and something falls in it or a hair or something, just you can just pick it out with a toothpick or anything that's fine that you could just pick it out and the epoxy while it's fresh will just level back out.